wisdom. The reading is from St. Paul's epistle to the Hebrews. Let us be attentive. Brethren, when God made a promise to Abraham, since he could swear by no one greater, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless thee, and multiplying I will multiply thee. And thus, having patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For people in need swear by what is greater, and in every dispute of theirs the oath is final for confirmation. So when God, being minded to show more abundantly to the heirs of the promise, the immutability of his counsel, he interposed it with an oath, that by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to lie, we might have a strong consolation. We who have fled to the refuge to lay hold of the hope that is set before us, a hope which we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and steadfast, in entering to that which is within the veil, where Jesus entered as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. Peace be to thee. Peace be to thee. 